This is an example from Chapter 9 of the Introduction to the Practice of Statistics, the 8th edition, by Moore, McCabe, and Craig. In this example, we're going to examine the distribution of the color of M&M's milk chocolate candies, the stated percentage by the Mars Corporation is that 24% of the M&M's will be blue, 20% will be orange, 16% will be green, 14% will be yellow, 13% will be red, and 13% will be brown. So this is, this is what we expect, these are the percentages that we expect. And we are going to open a bag of 60 M&M's and we actually observe 9 blue, 8 orange, 12 green, 15 yellow, 10 red, and 6 brown. So we're going to perform a chi-square analysis and we are testing the null hypothesis that the proportion are equal to our expected proportion, the ones that were given, and our alternative hypothesis is that at least one of the proportions is different than our claimed or our expected proportion. So it'll be helpful for us just to see what the actual or observed data proportion is. And so we can divide our observed values by the total. So we have 15% blue. thirteen percent orange twenty percent green twenty five percent yellow seventeen percent red and ten percent brown so in our bag of sixty these are the proportions that we actually observe and so for our chi-square test we need to look at counts so we actually need to turn our expected proportions into counts so in this hypothetical bag of sixty how many are we going to expect of each color so we need to multiply 60 by each of our proportions so we're going to expect 14.4 blue M&Ms in a bag of 60 12 orange 9.6 green 8.4 yellow 7.8 red and 7.8 brown if they followed our perfect expected proportions in a bag of 60. So our next step is to develop our chi-square calculations for each individual cell. And so to do that we're going to take the difference between our observed and our expected values we're going to square that difference and then divide by the expected values and again that will give us our chi-square statistic for each individual cell and then we'll sum that up for the total chi-square statistic so we have an overall chi-square statistic of 10.18 we can also use Excel's function chisq.test. We're going to select our actual range or our observed data and then separate that with a comma from our expected values and will give us a p-value of 0 .07029. So from this we are going, since it's greater than 0 0.05, we're going to fail to reject the null hypothesis, which leads us to, to the conclusion that we don't have sufficient evidence to conclude that the company's claimed color distribution is incorrect. So with the data we have, we are, we are not able to, uh, to disagree or dispute the distribution that they provided us. Uh, the other thing to note in a, in a table like this, when we are just comparing hypothesize values in just one row. The degrees of freedom are just our total number of columns minus one. So this test has a degree of freedom of five, uh, which is six minus one.